student to another class for the week and today we'll be looking into accounting entries on the partnership account and these are the objectives we hope to achieve at the end of the lesson. Today, like I said, we'll be looking into the accounting entries. Then what do we mean by the entries? That is, what are the principles guiding partnership account practically? The final account of a sole trader and partnership resembles each other. Let me put, take it from that angle. The final account of a sole trader, you all remember your final account, which comprises of the trading account, the profit and loss, likewise the capital account with the balance sheet. Now, we are here telling you, I'm here to tell you that there is resemblance between partnership account and sole trader's account. Because when an individual, a sole proprietor, is running a business, the business is being run probably under the final account. The same final account will be used under partnership, that is, under an account where we have more than one person running this, uh, an, uh, the same account, the same final account. So therefore, so the final account of a sole trader is synonymous to that of partnership account. But in, but in partnership account, there is an extra section called appropriation account. This is the only area that makes partnership account different from a sole proprietorship account. This is the account where the profits are, are distributed to partners in their profit sharing ratio. The net profit found in the profit and loss account will be carried down into the appropriation account. Remember, under the normal trading profit and loss account, when you have your net profit, you're supposed to take your net profit straight to your balance sheet. But in the case of partnership account, the net profit made under the final account will be carried under the trading profit and loss account rather, will be taken straight to the appropriation account. Accounting entries continue. In partnership accounts, the following account must be prepared, and these are the accounts expected of you to prepare. The trading profit and loss account, like I said, the appropriation account, the current and capital account, likewise the balance sheet. Now, looking straight to capital. Capital may be introduced by some or all the partners, mind you. And this, why did we say some or all? Remember. The last time we met, we were discussing about the types of partners. And under the types of partners, you were made to understand that we have what we call sleeping partner. We have what we call quasi partner. And this is to let you know that some of these partners, some we just use their name. Some partners' businesses, we just need the name of an individual to be added to their partnership business just to uh, just to just to raise the the, 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 the level of, 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 of respect that is being required by the public towards the business. That is what some partners are in some partnership account. These partners may not have any contribution to the business, but they will just use their name just to be added to the to the business and the name alone, when the public hear about it, it will create an interest to the mind of the, the public. This is what we're talking about. So the capital introduced by some or all the partners are, and this will be credited to the capital account. The partnership can maintain any of these accounts, and these are the accounts we are looking into. Number one, capital account without correct account without correct account, otherwise called fluctuating account, uh, capital account. Likewise, we have B, fixed capital account. So we have the fluctuating capital account and we also have the fixed capital account, which is with current account. Why the previous one was without current account? This one is without current account. Why this one is with current account? Here we go. Under the fixed capital account, which is with current account. Here, the amount put into the business by each partner will not change. The amount, I repeat, put into the business by each partner will not change under this heading. In order to preserve the capital, a current account will be prepared, I repeat, in order to what? To preserve 
In order to preserve the capital, a current account will be prepared and debited with interest on drawings. This, this is what we are talking about now. Under the current account, what did we say? What are they saying? Current account will be prepared and debited with debited with interest on drawings. Interest on drawings. Debit side, interest on drawings, and credited with what? Interest, interest on capital. Share of profit and partner salary. Here we go. So likewise, now what we're talking about here is that this is the face capital, like I told you. This is the balance brought forward, probably from the previous uh, from the previous account. It has been brought forward here. Now the current account, like I said, now we have the balance brought forward, which are these. Now these are the interest of capital for each each of the partners. We have two partners here, Ayo and Ojo. So the interest on their capital will be ten thousand. 20,000. But remember, Ayo's contribution is 100,000, Ojo's contribution is 200,000. And if you look at the share of profit, now this will belong to Ayo, while this one will belong to Ojo. Likewise, their salary in this range. And looking at the last one on the list, which is the fluctuating capital without correct account. The capital account rep represents a mixture of capital and undrawn profit. The interest on capital, partner salary, and share of profit are credited to the capital account. This is the capital account. This is the credit side. Interest on capital, share of profit, they are credited on the, uh, on the, on the credit side of the capital account. And likewise, the, the, the debit side will show drawings, that is the drawings, and we show the drawings and interest on drawings. Interest on drawings. These are the drawings. This is the interest on drawings. Likewise, the difference between debit side and credit side shows our balance carry down. Now the addition gives us this. Thank you very much. This is where I'm going to draw the curtain and I will be looking forward to your questions which will be forwarded to the Google platform. Thank you and God bless you.